and they're off in the sham stakes. Newgrange and Rockefeller break together as one. Newgrange a little quicker now, Rockefeller second. Degree of risk moves up on the outside. They're followed by McKinnon and Oviat class. It's a compact field moving at a leisurely tempo. Newgrange has it by a half length. Rockefeller followed by degree of risk. McKinnon under a hold at the rail. Oviat class right next to him. Three lengths covers them. Onto the back stretch they go. John Velasquez has slowed things right down with New Grange. Has it three parts of a length to Rockefeller second. Degree of risk in the clear while third. McKinnon still eager in fourth. And Oviat class, three and a half off front running New Grange, who cruises down the back stretch. In front by about a half length now to Rockefeller in degree of risk. McKinnon has ridden the rail throughout. Two lengths off the pacemaker and then Oviat class. No change in the running order. They head to the 3 8 pole, and Newgrange lets it out a notch, strides away a length and a half over Rockefeller, who's called on now. McKinnon takes third, degree of risk is fourth. Oviat class is pushed along. Newgrange doing it very nicely with a quarter of a mile to go. Still has it a length and a half to Rockefeller. McKinnon swings out for the drive. They're at the top of the stretch, and Newgrange still loaded at the eighth pole. Builds up a two and a half length lead. Rockefeller can't keep up with his stablemate. They're followed by McKinnon and Oviat class. A big step forward in start two for Newgrange, who makes every pole a winning one in the sham stakes. Wins it by three and a half. Photo for second. Rockefeller, Oviat class, then McKinnon. New Grange making it look easy now two for two in his young career as he goes gates a wire in the grade three sham stakes and Johnny Velasquez is able to slow things down. I don't know that I've ever seen a grade three or graded stakes race at Santa Anita run this slowly at a mile. How were you able to get away with those fractions? Well, it was only a one speed, and it was uh, the other bad buffer horse, and he had, I'm pretty sure I hit him on both of those get ahead and head, and he, he had told me to put my horse to the lead. But once uh, my horse got to the lead, man, he waited. Off, you know, like he really is. Took a little hold of him, and then he kind of started waiting for the horses, so I waited for the horses to come to him, and, and then by the time we got to the back stretch, I kind of let him do his own thing, and he got in a comfortable rhythm. And after that, was pretty easy, though. <laughs> When you asked, how much did he kick on for you? I mean, he's still green. I mean, he, he feels like he went on. I still, he, feel, he still can do better. I mean, he got on by himself and just kind of feels like he's waiting for the horses. That's what I kind of went and touched him a little bit with, with the crap. Just make sure I keep his mind and, and running. And the gallop all is pretty good, though. So he still seems like he's learning. How's this uh, opening week, opening first couple of weeks gone for you, Johnny? How would you sum it up? Well, it's been obviously a very blessing, though. You know, come here for the first time in the winter and getting the opportunity. I'm getting from everybody and getting, getting some nice horses. So it feels really good. It feels young. <laughs> You're doing great. Well done. Thank you. Johnny Velasquez, Hall of Famer Bob Baffert, New Grange, taking the grade three sham stakes.